was a temporary antenna or a permanent spire. If permanent, it would count toward its important symbolic height of 1,776 feet. The decision was up to the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, which is based in Chicago, but it ruled against its home saying the New York Tower is the tallest by more than 300 feet because the spire is permanent. Size matters in what's become a worldwide race into the sky. One World Trade jumps ahead of Taipei 101 to become the third highest building in the world. It leaped Taiwan's building in a single bound. Chicago's 40-year reign as home to America's tallest building is over, but it is still the birthplace of skyscrapers. The world's first, the Home Insurance Building, opened in 1885. It was a massive 10 stories high. The Empire State Building held the title of the world's tallest for almost four decades, and its observation deck still attracts about 4 million visitors a year. That makes more money for the building's owners than a hundred stories of offices. No wonder, since a ticket to skip the lines and shoot to the top observation deck costs sixty-seven dollars. Construction of the Empire State Building only took about thirteen months in the early thirties, but it took eight years to build what is now the second tallest building in the world. The Makkah Royal Clock Tower in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, has nine world-class restaurants. The clock helps announce daily prayers to the Muslim faithful. The Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the world's tallest now. It houses more than a thousand residences, 37 floors of office space, and 3,000 underground parking spaces. Good luck finding your car. But it won't have the title for long. The Kingdom Tower in Saudi Arabia is set to open in 2019. It will be close to 3,300 feet tall. Incredibly, that is more than two and a half times the size of the Empire State.